hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss something new in Odoo version 13 so it's around three weeks now after releasing Odoo 13 you all know that Odoo 13 has been released during Odoo experience this October first week so let's discuss something new in Odoo version 13 so currently today I'm going to discuss about you all know that the boolean fields that is customer or vendor boolean fields has been removed from the partner model that is from the restaurant partner model is a customer or is a vendor field has been completely removed in old version 13 so we will discuss why it has been removed and how by which option it has been replaced so we will discuss that in the video so yet if you haven't subscribed our channel i will suggest you to subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button and also you can refer our your colleagues regarding our channel and so that you can see we have got different play, uh, playlists like audio tutorials completely from a to z so you can ask your friends to subscribe the channel also you can share the videos with your colleagues so that's all about that so we will we'll come back to the topic so if i go to the contacts model that is from the contacts menu if i go to the contacts form and if i one of the if i open this in a earlier versions that is till Odoo 12 if you take the sale and purchase tab inside the contacts form you will see two boolean fields that is is a customer or a is a vendor here directly under sales and purchase but it has been removed from Odoo version 13 so you all thinking why it has been removed and how it, it's replaced or something like that so but if i go to the purchase so in, in current database i have already installed sales module and purchase module so if i go to the purchase and if I go to the vendors menu, so you will think here you can see there is a filter vendor. The same thing if I go to the sales and if you click on customer, you will have customer filter here. So now, now we will think how this filtration is working. So if the field has been already removed, then how Odoo is filtering these customers and vendors that we have seen few minutes before. So we will discuss regarding that. So first of all, if I go to the GitHub commit where Odoo has been removed these fields. So this is the commit message where remove customer bar supplier fields on restaurant partner. So you can see in this message purpose purpose this commit allows to call name search with context key or as partner search mode. So I'll come to that. So if you scroll down, okay. So just go through this message this commit allowed to call name search with context key as partner search mode that can take can take currently two values customer or supplier when ordering search result order partners amount so for this illustration purpose i have may add two fields that is if i go to school and if i take the form view of a student you can see i have added two new two many different fields of dot partner you can see here you have got customer customer field and you have got supplier field and if i go to the pie charm and if i take the corresponding model you can see this is the fields we have seen customer id as well as supplier id so both are many to one field fields dot many to one and the core model is rust dot partner so but if you check the values so this is the customer field if you click on this you are seeing values like registered customer unregistered custom customer associate interior like that but if you go to supplier you will see different values coming at the top so if you check the supplier you are seeing asus interior at the top so you can if you go to the python file you can see both are many different fields of same model that is rest dot partner but you are seeing different values that is you are seeing different values at the right at the top here you can see if you take the customer field you are seeing registered customer at the top whereas if you take the supplier field you are seeing asus Azure interior at the top so how it's work so there is no changes inside the python file here you can see or same just string is different as well as the field label is different so if i go to the corresponding form view so this is the field where i have added those fields into the view here you can see inside the context context rest partner search mode so inside the search mode suppose if you are going to define a field for the customer inside the context you can pass rest partner search mode equal to customer or supplier so in rest partner search mode you can pass either two values that is customer or supplier so if you specify the customer as the rest partner search mode the customer who having more number of sales will comes at the top of the result so if you have got so this is a customer field and here you can see the order is arranged based on number of sales each person does suppose 
if there is a or, um, salesperson, sorry, if there is a customer named ABCD and if there is another customer named XYZ, if there is ABCD have done 100 sales and if the customer XYZ have only 10 sales, if you take the many to one field, more number of sales will come at the top so that ABCD will come at the top and XYZ will come at the bottom. So if I again go to the commit message, here you can see an implementation or a message from Odoo. So yeah, instead of filtering on the boolean field flags, sort the name search result according to the number of orders they have already done. Example, if you search for foo on a PO, a supplier super foo with 32 purchase orders will appear appear before supplier horrible foo has no PO. That is the customer or the here it's explained with the case of supplier. That is if you have a many ton field of rest dot partner in which context is passed as supplier so if you search for foo you have got two suppliers that is super foo and horrible foo super foo has got 32 purchase orders and horrible foo has got only here it has mentioned zero purchase order so more number of purchase order will comes at the top so super foo will comes at the top and horrible horrible foo flu, sorry horrible foo will comes next so that's the use of that field so you can see if I scroll down, you can see same as previous alternative but with no stored columns rather than a join in name search. This is a solution that have been kept. The only concern was about the performance. We tested it in our production database and they have fine. So if I scroll down the screen, so there is some performance improvement they have been showing. And if I scroll down, you have some another messages also. Here you have it's Odo itself is explaining why they have removed that two boolean fields. Remove customer and supplier fields from the stored partner purpose. Fields, customer and supplier on the stored partner are mostly used in domain of many to X fields. Those domains can confuse end users because they don't see the partner they are looking for and, and it's not obvious why. So suppose as we have got those classification that is customer or vendor sometimes supplier or sometimes some end users will go and search and they won't see that name so they just well, use the create different option that and they will create new contact so that will lead to duplication of data so you can see some identified problems it can lead to duplicate duplicated partners the user don't find the partner so he creates a new one suppose if we go and search a supplier inside the customer field and he might not see the supplier there because of the domain that given so obviously he will create a new partner so which will leads to duplicated data so that's an issue the user import supplier contacts in the contacts app so that so they don't get the supplier flag then the user wants to make a purchase order and cannot find the suppliers in the list a user removes the customer flag on the prospect because they don't think it's customer yet except now they can't make a call for the customer so that's the reasons why Odor has been removed these fields. So you have got some messages here. Specifications remove two mentions fields. Since fields customer and supplier has been removed, all partners are now shown in minute to one drop downs. So inside the restored partner drop down from now onwards, all the contacts will be listed. Earlier, when we are using customer or supplier field, we will give domains inside the Python like is a customer equal to true or is a vendor equal to true like that we will give the domains so it's not needed right from right now you can just pass the contacts inside the xml like this contacts partner search mode customer or supplier you can pass inside the xml file and if i go down you can see the different commit messages like those codes are removed like the given domains has been removed and if i scroll down you can see instead of search default supplier are passing rest partner search mode equal to supplier so in the context you can pass this so same has been done in different files so that's all about that and if i go so once you install accounting module into your database so currently account module is installed in my database so i'll come to the filtration so if i go to context if i go to context you will see all the contacts that is you have got 45 contacts here but if i go to sales and then to the customers here you have only five customers if you remove the customer filter you have 45 and if you take the customer filter you will have only 
five and if you take the vendors i'll just untick the customers you have got zero vendors so let's see how these filtration are working so if i go to edit control panel view and then to the inherited view and you can see account so this filtration is coming from the account module so i'll just open that and you can see filter string customers name customer domain there you have got two fields customer rank and supplier rank so if the supplier rank is greater than zero the filtration is done and filter vendors name supplier domain supplier rank greater than zero so these two fields also has been used to identify the customer and the supplier in Odoo version 13 so if i go to the pie charm and if i make a search of that fields find in path you can see i have already made a search of customer rank you can see this has been added inside the account module that is supplier rank and the customer rank these two fields computed fields to order the partners are suppliers or customers according to the amount of their generated income bar outgoing account moves so it will be computed field based on the number of the sales they have done sorry number of the income they have generated you can see amount of their generated income and outgoing account moves so that's also you can use for the classification of supplier and partner so that's all about this video if you like a video you can just subscribe the channel and you can refer the channel to your colleagues and we will definitely we will add this commit message in the video description so you can just directly go there and check it from it there so that's all about this video thank you